Thank you for purchasing a Campbell Hosfeld nailer. This how-to video is designed to help you learn more about how to set up and use your new tool. We want to help make it easier for you to get professional results from your home improvement projects. Be safe like a pro. It's important to follow certain safety guidelines when using air-operated tools. Be sure to refer to your owner's manual and the pull-out warning tool decal for warnings and detailed instructions on how to set up and use your tool. Wear eye protection. We recommend laser-resistant ANSI 287 safety glasses. This product or its power cord may contain chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive harm. Wash hands after handling. Wear an OSHA-approved dust mask and when required, other appropriate personal protective equipment such as head, hearing, and foot protection equipment. Put trigger in the safety lock position when not in use. Do not operate the tool in explosive atmospheres, such as in the presence of flammable liquids, gases, or dust. Hold tool by insulated gripping surfaces when performing an operation where the tool or fastener may contact hidden wiring. Set up like a pro. Nails to use. This framing nailer uses two inch to three and a half inch, 30 to 34 degree clipped head or offset round head, 0.113 to 0.131 inch shank diameter framing nails. Introduction to air tools. Compared to electric power tools, air tools save you both time and money. The initial cost of an air tool is significantly lower than its electrically powered counterpart and the average life is longer. Air nailers let you finish your project much faster than traditional hammer and nails. The nailer is connected to the compressor by using quick plugs, couplers, and air hose. Always use air supply hoses with a minimum working pressure rating equal or greater than the pressure from the power source, or 150 PSI, whichever is greater. Use quarter inch air hose for distances up to 50 feet. Use 3 8 inch air hose for 50 foot distances or longer. The air compressor must be able to maintain a minimum of 70 PSI when the nailer is being used. We recommend at least a one gallon compressor for use with this nailer. Operational modes. This nailer may be operated in the sequential or bump mode. You can easily change modes by pressing the position switch on a tool, similar to using a forward reverse switch on a power tool. The sequential mode is recommended for precise nail placement. In this mode, you will pull the trigger each time you want to place a nail. The bump mode is ideal when you don't need precise nail placement. In this mode, the tool can place a nail without removing your finger from the trigger by depressing the work contact element. Safety lockout mode. You can put the tool in safety mode by moving the switch to the middle position. Adjustable depth. This feature lets you determine how deep a fastener will be driven into the surface. To use this feature, adjust the operating pressure so it will consistently drive the fasteners. Do not exceed 120 PSI. Lift up the red depth control knob to move the work element in or out to desired setting. Move in to increase depth. Move out to decrease depth. Make sure the trigger and work contact element move freely up and down. Adjustable exhaust. You can use this feature to change the direction of the exhaust. Simply twist the deflector to any direction desired. Swivel plug. Makes it easier to move the tool. Oil-free design saves you maintenance time. Convenient storage bag included. A pressure regulator is needed to control the operating pressure of the nailer between 70 PSI and the nailer's maximum actual working pressure as stated on the tool and in the manual. How to hook up your nailer to your compressor. With on-off switch and off position, plug compressor into electrical outlet. Close pressure regulator by turning all the way to the left. Turn compressor on and let it pump all the way up to automatic shutoff pressure. Attach air hose to regulator outlet. Adjust pressure regulator by turning to the right so that outlet pressure is between 70 and 120 PSI. Load fasteners into nailer by following these steps. Always disconnect the tool from the air supply before loading or unloading fasteners. Load strips of fasteners into the slots in the rear of the magazine. Press pusher bypass button and pull pusher over loaded nails. Release pusher. Now that fasteners are loaded, point nailer in safe direction while attaching to air hose. Nailer is ready for use. You may need to adjust outlet pressure to achieve proper fastener depth. Unloading the tool. Disconnect air. Pull pusher back away from nail clip. Press pusher bypass button and allow pusher to ride over remaining nails. Hold tool upright so nails will slide backwards towards magazine slot. Always unload all fasteners before stopping use of the tool. 
How to install Nomar Tip Disconnect air from nailer Place Nomar Tip over end of the work contact element To remove the Nomar Tip, disconnect air and remove Store the Nomar Tip on the housing Bubble Level The bubble level is located on the head cap You can use the level when the tool is in a horizontal or vertical position Laser A laser is mounted near the nose of the tool when the work contact element is pressed in slightly, the laser will shine in the spot where the nail will be driven. When the laser is in the desired location, simply depress the work contact element and fire the tool. Low Nail Indicator Lights When there are only 10 fasteners remaining in your tool, the yellow light will illuminate. Once you have only 5 nails in the tool, the light will turn red. You must reload at this time. Clearing Jams Sometimes a fastener will get jammed in the tool. Follow these steps to clear a jam. Disconnect the air supply from the nailer. Remove the nails from the magazine. Press the quick clear nose lever. Remove the jam nail. Release the quick clear nose lever. Reload fasteners and reconnect air. Caring for your tool. After use, remove fasteners from nailer and be sure to drain your air compressor tank. We recommend using a blowgun to clear off your tool and work surface. Pay particular attention to cleaning the inside of the magazine for smooth operation. Remove batteries. Be sure to store your tool in a cool, dry location. Thank you for purchasing a Campbell Hausfeld tool. We hope this video is helpful as you start your project. You can also visit us at chpower.com.